friends, and welcome back to the Popper Standard Trials. Uh, this episode will be featuring the first dual-colored Popper deck of the series. Um, I started off with the mono colors, and overall those went pretty well. There's a few decks that um, either had bad matchups or bad gameplay on my part, um, but overall the singles did well. Uh, now I'm interested to see what the dual colors are going to be like. So I'm going to go in the order of white X first. So basically it's going to be white blue, then white black, um, then white red, then white green. And then from there I'll do blue X and then uh, black X, then red X, and then that should be everything. Pretty sure. 99% sure. Yeah. Yeah, because by then everything should have hit green. It would just be red-green at the very end. And from then we'll start the three-color. Um, but for now we're at the beginning of two-color, which is Azorius. Um, in this one I'm running Lunark Veteran, um, which is the nice... Whenever another creature enters the battlefield near your control, you gain a life, and then it can disturb to be the flyer that whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, you gain a life. Um, running Piercing Light, it's just a nice little one mana. Deals two damage, start attacking or blocking creature, and I get to scry one. Just low-costed removal, really. Um, consider for helping me dig and surveilling. Um, surveilling, there's a few... Um, things that I don't mind hitting the graveyard, like the Lunark Veteran, because he can just come back as the spirit, and sometimes I might prefer the, uh, the other side of it later in the game. So the Surveil is nice just in general, that way if I don't need the card, I can get rid of it, or if I do need the card, then I just don't do the Surveil at all, of, of course. Um, next is Lantern Bear, which is another one with Disturbed. It's a nice one-drop, one-one flyer. Um, that when it's in the graveyard, I can pay three mana and enchant uh, a creature to give it plus one, plus one, and has flying. Um, next is Angelic Intervention. I'm only running two of just because I didn't really want to full commit to it. Uh, I think a good chunk of my creatures, um, I either don't mind dying or I don't really need per se to keep safe but running two of just because of that gaining uh protection from colorless or the color of my choice is pretty nice and if i um target the creature which it's gonna be because i'm not running planeswalkers because they uh <laughs> as far as i know haven't printed a common planeswalker yet um, but being able to protect and put a plus one counter on it is nice and being able to protect it from colorless if i want to is pretty nice too uh, and then Fierce Retribution, I can destroy an attacking creature, or if it's something that they don't attack with and it's later in the game and it's being a nuisance, I can just fork out the six mana and shoot it. Uh, then Nurturing Presence, I like Nurturing Presence because it gives the creature like a nice little buff ability, so if I put it on like one of my flyers, um then I have an evasive creature with a buff ability, and just for entering, I get a 1-1 flyer, which is always nice. Uh, planar Disruption, it's just, just like in the mono white deck, just prevents some things from doing stuff. Uh, Room Breaker's Grasp is the same way, it just doesn't enchant an artifact, or not an artifact, a planeswalker, like Planar Disruption does. Room Breaker's Grasp just hits artifacts or creatures. Uh, Charge of the Mites, I thought would be a fun little way to either shoot things or just get some 1-1s one out there really quick. Uh, Aspiring Overseer, another evasive flyer that also gives me a life and draws me a card. And Falcon Abomination, that's an evasive flyer and gives me a zombie. And then with this one, I have two, you know, the Plains and Island... And then two of the idyllic beachfront and three tranquil coves is kind of like a mana fixing. Um, hopefully it works. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'm intrigued. 
I have that feeling that this is going to be the kind of deck that just kind of grinds my opponent out until it finally wins. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't take too terribly long. Uh, so far, I think the longest video was my last blue deck that was like a 40 some odd minute video if I remember correctly. Um, but just like all the other uh, popper standard trial videos, it's standard play and I give the deck three chances to see if it can make it against random standard decks. But I am curious if this uh, deck is going to break the <laughs> record for video length. We'll find out. But, I mean, to be fair, is it really an Azorius deck if I'm not grinding my opponent out? Ooh. That's nice. I like that. I kind of wish I was going first, but... Eh, being on the draw isn't so bad. Uh-oh. Blue, black. That's not gonna... Go over well. Or maybe it will. Oh, oh no. Not the poison deck. Okay. This is, uh, <laughs> not gonna be good. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and consider. Hmm, yeah, sure, why not? I'll draw the consider. Hello, consider. <laughs> He's got the toxic. Nice, nice. So, let's do Lantern Bear. Neat. And, hmm, hmm. I'm going to use this just because I know that they're going to counter it if they have a counter. And if they don't have a counter, that's basically the only creature they run. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Neat. The Seed Core. Sounds like a band. What are you? If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. Neat. Huh. Man, all these flyers. I consider... Um, that's not going to help me at the moment. Duh! Alright. Uh, no attacks. I'll end the turn. I don't see them attacking with it because of my mana up. But, I mean, if they do, that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna consider that. Um... No, I really don't want to draw that slow land. Ooh, nice. Player disruption, that'll work. Does that mean they're going to attack? Come on, make the mistake. Please. <gasps> That's amazing. No, huh? no you dumb thing. The attacking creature. I forget that it allows you to, uh, 
have the option to attempt to pay the cost even if you don't have the ability to. Which has always been really weird to me. Anyway, let's play a Falcon Abomination. Alright, what do they have? Is it just because they can... Oh, it's because they can tap it to give it the plus if they really want to. That's actually really kind of annoying. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just start going wide. That's what I'm going to try to do anyway. Alright. Because I can planar disruption if they drop another big dude. Ooh, menace and toxic too. That is a thing. Right. Uh, no, not wrong one. Planar disruption. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what you got? Nothing. Whack. Hmm. I'm going to put it on this one. Woo! Getting some damage in at least. Yep, goodbye, my decayed zombie. Interesting. Creature or planeswalker, I guess I'll shoot the one that doesn't get the buff. Well, yeah, give it minus four, minus four. Oh, oh, just straight up destroyed that. Oh, come on. All right. I'll at least hit you for two at a time. I assume they had the hard counter. No. What? They must have something. I mean, they're at full up on mana. It's actually kind of scary. Ah, uh, yep. That's fun. In turn. Charge of the Mites. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to see if I can cast it. Yep. 
Oh, neat. Oh, that's brutal. No attacks. All right. This might be the end of it for me. Unless they just didn't draw anything good. There's always that possibility. Ooh, actually, unless they have something to play... They might have just ruined themselves. I forgot about the draw two cards and lose two life. We'll find out. <gasps> we got it! Nice, good game. That was scary. Definitely slow game. <laughs> but we got it. That's exciting. I've been seeing those uh, blue, black, toxic, proliferate style decks popping up quite frequently and they're they're always similar but different and different in a good way um because all in all you're kind of playing against basically the same deck but you don't know what creatures they're gonna play because i've seen all kinds of different creatures um i'm glad that one wasn't running children because that is just no fun <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll keep this seven. Okay, I don't think they're going to be running hasty, so I'm going to play this tap land. Ooh, neat. Wait, blue black again. Uh oh. Pay life equal to its power. Yeah, that's fun. Minus life link. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain, so. Yep. Yep. Worth it. Otherwise, I'm taking three. <laughs> No attempt to target. Nice. Another ledger shredder. Jeez. Go, my abomination. You know, in turn. Ooh. Resolve. Nothing I can do about that. Mm. Yeah, I'll consider. I'm cool drawing another abomination. Nope. No blocks. Children. Yep, I'm taking that one. No attacks. In turn.
I'll block you. And I'll also shoot the ledger shred. Um, no, I really don't need that. There's all. Let's go, my other falcon abomination. And then I'm gonna play the game called I Hope That They Can't Buff The Shieldred by like... One or two or whatever. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Neat. Yeah, that's the blockers. Blocking, blocking, two blockers. And then I'm gonna shoot it. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. Ouch. That's no fun. I am just shy on mana for it. Uh, hmm. We'll see what happens. Oh crap, I can't block it no matter what. Ouchie. I forgot that it has menace. It's all gold. It's fine. Yep, that's definitely going to be a beat down on this one. Nothing I can do. I'm going to charge the mites at least. Give me some mites, baby. Oh my goodness, at the piercing lights. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm going to let one of the mites have flying. Go deal some sort of damage. Yeah, why not? You. Ha. Huh. That way they have a net loss of one. Oh, it was a good attempt on that one. Yeah, it was decent. All the piercing lights, though. Wish I would have just drawn the hard cam. <laughs> that would have been nice. Claim our eyes. And time for the final attempts. Two Demir decks back to back. Completely different decks though. But two Demir ones back to back. That's interesting. Very interesting.
I go first, sure. Go, my idyllic beachfront. Oh my goodness. My deck says we're gonna play the long game. It connives. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Not my luck, I'll go to piercing light and I'll give him protection and then I get smacked anyway. Comes to target of a spell you control. Draw wow, I am just drawing the same thing over and over again, aren't I? Oh, joy. Maybe this won't be a um, long game. <laughs> yep. Smack me. Nothing much I can do. I'm drawing a bunch of the same stuff. Oh man. Wow. Hmm. Yep. Guess I'll just play the veteran. I think it's plus one, plus one, and has ward one. We must protect yep. the people. Maybe I should not have uh, started off with the two land hand. Because I have a good feeling that I'm never going to be able to target that thing again. <laughs> oh my god! This is brutal! Attacks. We've got the edge in this fight. I'm going to attempt to shoot him for two. We'll see what happens. That way I can decide if I want to, uh, Blocker now. Woo! Oh, uh, yes, I do want that land. Jeez Louise. Yeah. I'll prolong the damage for one turn. All the mana. So I have a feeling that this realm breaker's grass is going to not go. Wouldn't you know it?
Indestructible for one mana, that is insane. Remember training. My god, what did this guy do? Just put all the good spells in a deck and call it a day? I think this is just Bant's good stuff. <laughs> Holy crap. You know what? I'ma just make some mites. Alright. Swing out. That's all you gotta do. Just playing it out. <laughs> okay. Woo! All right. Well, at least the deck got one win. Um, definitely went up against a lot of blue heavy. <laughs> Good God! At all the blue heavy. That's okay. At least we got one win. Um, do got some pack though. Let's see what's in the pack. <gasps> wild cards. I'm always okay with wild cards. Honestly, I'd prefer the wild cards over the actual cards most of the time. Even if I don't use them often. <laughs> it's the thought. When they finally bring Pioneer in full circle, or full force, not full circle, in full force, I'll be excited to have the wild cards. I know that they announced that they're bringing all of the top tournament decks. Their goal is to have all of the Pioneer top tournament decks by the end of next year. Um, so, at least we have a pretty good direction of... Pioneer coming to Arena. Uh, it's going to be a while before everything gets into this system and allows us to get to actual Pioneer, but it is nice that they're expediting at least the tournament legal decks or top tournament decks for Pioneer into uh, arena that way we can actually start enjoying pioneer because while i enjoy explorer there's just something about pioneer that just makes it completely different and more fun for me um anyway enough of my rambling uh thank you guys for watching the video and making it to the end and thanks for checking me out